Alright guys, so I think the plan for today is we're going to go into the nether, we're going to get some magma blocks so we can get some materials for the gold farm. So when I start setting up a villager trading hall, we have enough gold to make golden apples. Because right now I can just buy apples from the villagers, the farmer villagers that I have downstairs. So I have no problem with apples. Um, yeah, we're going to do that. I want to go out to the um, mesa. So that means I need to get some obsidian so I can go set up the platform on top of the nether. And then I want to build something around this so it's not such an eyesore as that. And then I might, we're gonna, or actually not might, but I'm gonna have to do some terraforming around that thing and bring it into the land. But I think for the, um, for that, I wanna put like, uh, I don't know, I think I'm gonna bring it out this way somehow. I don't know how yet. But yeah, so uh, let's head to the nether first. We'll get that taken care of. So after the nether, we're gonna get some obsidian and we're gonna go to the mesa. This is a huge pocket. I'm okay with this. Bring it on, baby. It's still gonna keep going. Oh my goodness. I don't really want to build with this mower going on behind me. Second, it sounded like my axe broke and I about freaked it out. Not that way. I'm pretty sure there was more back here than the other ones. I'd be okay to sit down here and get a couple of shulker boxes of magma cubes if I can. So that's basically be all that I needed. I think. I don't know. I haven't actually like planned out the farm yet, but it's surely I need much more than that, right? Okay, we are out of the nether. Let's see what our haul was. So basically, you know, I also did some spring cleaning in here. It needed it. It was getting kind of messy. Yeah, I went and took care of that. But we got almost three shulker boxes, which should hopefully be more than enough for the farm. I haven't. I think I'm. I think I decided I'm going to use the uh, entity cramming one. Um, I'm not sure who designed it. I'll look it up, and then I'll let you guys know when I start building it. When I start building it, because I still have a lot of things that I need to do here. Gotta get that pumpkin melon farm covered up, and I gotta do the terraforming around the, the cow barn. But first, let's go to the nether, or not the nether, let's go gather some obsidian so we can make a portal and go to the, um, oh, what's it called? The mesa, because I want some terracotta. So let's do that. Before we go to the end, or before, yeah, we need to go there anyway, so let's go heal up the pickaxe and then start mining for obsidian. Shouldn't take us too long. And I gotta try and remember where the coordinates were for the, um, mesa. I just wanna go get, like, a few stacks of terracotta. 
And then we should be good there. Cool. Actually, I can just go out this way. Still need to get purple carpets. But that's okay. I will finish it, I swear. Idiot. Let's get like a stack of obsidian. Take down like, I think it regenerates five rows. Something like that. Oh, this is gonna take a minute. See you guys in a second. You know, I was thinking, I didn't really pull a wise move doing all that exploring right before 117 dropped. Did not know it was going to come out that soon. But, yeah, it's done, so I guess we're just going to have to deal with that. I don't think I've gone that far south from the house, so I think we should be still get some new generation there pretty close. But, man, that talk about some unfortunate timing. I think that's uh, what, what what the guys and I would call COD timing. <laughs> or uh, as Lemony Snicket would say, a series of unfortunate events. See if it works, see if I wrote down the coordinates correctly. I did and I forgot to bring a bed. That is unfortunate. I wish this place was a little bit bigger. Let's just go take down the cell. I don't sound good. Sell it up. Oh, that scared the sh crap out of me. And I set myself on fire. Oh, baby zombie. We're leaving. I started thinking about that, and I think I'm going to do, um, stupid Enderman, um, a lot of quartz, like a lot of quartz, so we're gonna have to go start mining for that in the nether. I think I'm gonna get, like, almost all of my resources laid out before I start building it, that way I don't have to stop once I start. So yeah. Alright, so we got our magma cubes. That'll be for when we start the gold farm. Check. Uh, set up the nether travel to the mesa. Check. Alright, so now let me gather up some materials and then I'll throw you into a time lapse um, of what we're going to build to cover up that pumpkin and melon farm. Um, again, I tried to stick with like the... Uh, oh... The, um, the theme like like I did on the, the cow hut so I tried to make it look like it belonged in like a um, Greek or a Roman civilization type thing I tried to stick with like the same color palette but vary it up just a little bit so yeah let me let me get into the, let me get those materials and then um, we'll get started on that
It is done. We officially have Pumpkin and Melon Factory. I thought like the red sandstone and you know the green terracotta. It, it reminded me of like pumpkins and melons, you know, red and red and green. But yeah, it's a uh, it's something I kind of whipped up. I didn't know for sure how it was gonna look. It's something I thought of and then just kind of built it. But I went ahead and got everything hooked up um, to this chest. As you can see, it is working overtime. Um, I need to get some crafting tables and put out here. I may put them right here. I haven't decided yet. But yeah, we can, as you saw in the time lapse, the sheep kind of kind of gave me fits. But the sheep are what I need to need to get a wool farm going because I want to do lots of things. Um, as you can see, you can we have access here. You can you can get into it, but we don't need to. Um, yeah, I thought it looked pretty cool. It was interesting at least. Let's go ahead and I'll show you. With the top, I just put some lights up here, just to help give it like a little extra light up top to make it give it like a glow. And then, as you can see, down here we just have campfires to give it some smoke. I kind of sort of wanted it to look like the um how how the chimney on the uh, cow farm is. Oh, I put in some some dragon heads. I don't know if you guys noticed last time, but yeah, they're in there. And uh, after the time lapse, I went ahead and cleaned up all all these guys and got them moved over there. And then uh, I'm actually getting ready to go start the terraforming now. So uh, right back into another little time lapse. Terraforming is complete. Um, we had a little uh, wandering trader accident, and also apparently a lot of mobs are going to now spawn here. Probably should light that up. Let's let's just get rid of these real quick. More than 120 blocks, right? Yeah. Wandering trader still there though. Creeper, you're still there. Let's just um, go ahead and get this guy. But yeah, I went ahead and. Um, are you kidding me? Pardon me. Um, completed the terraforming here, and then don't you? I had the terraforming completed here. All right, I'll fix that. But, uh, anyways, as I was telling you guys, I don't think I showed you how this thing actually works. So, I have a dispenser down there with a water bucket. You pop the cows up, and then I don't know if I have any oh, I do have some in here. And then, when they pop up, you can feed them. And then when you feed them, they multiply in there. And as soon as the uh, entity cramming level is surpassed, there's a hopper down below that picks up everything, and it ships it straight to this chest. Let's go ahead and breed all these up on camera real quick. There's that. Put these guys back down. Okay, got those. Wait, no, come back up. Okay, back 
add them. Cool. And yeah, and then hopefully once those all get picked up or they start hitting entity cramming levels. As you can see already, that's this is this is what I got from killing all of those cows. Just a little bit of stuff. <laughs> but yeah, I should have enough books for a while. Um yeah, so that's that's how the cow farm works. Um and then we'll off lay up so I can talk to you guys. So now that we're up here, um, I've been doing some thinking, and I think I want to stay in 116. At least until... Okay, I just want to stay in 116 for now. This is because there's a couple more farms that I want to build while we're in 116, like a honey farm, because in 117, you can make candles. So I think that'd be cool to get like a honeycomb farm rocking. Um, but yeah, uh, so, and I'm also waiting on Optifine to come out with an updated version. Um, I want them to do, I want that because the game just runs so much smoother while I'm, when, when I have Optifine going. So, yeah, so we're gonna stay in 116 until Optifine comes out with a version compatible for 117. And we're gonna just continue rocking out here. I also thought about um, doing a, uh, oh, a, um, oh, a program. There's a program called MCA Editor or something, something along those lines. But um, that allows you to wipe previously explored chunks. So if I do that, I can drastically, drastically reduce the size of this world. And I can take back all that exploring that I did to find that stupid jungle with those stupid pumpkins. Still mad about that. But yeah, so I'm going to use that program. I'm going to wipe some chunks that I no longer or that aren't necessary to have. That way I can get some new 117 terrain generated close to home base. That way we don't have to fly thousands of blocks just to find... Um, new 117 stuff and once i get into 117 i think i'm going to use some of the new blocks well, i don't think i know but i really really want to use some of the new blocks to um terraform around here like add in maybe some some deep slate i think that's what it's called it's a really dark block i think it would look really great here and then i can throw in some ores with my silk touch and make it look like the Parthenon was just built on Richities. Um, so yeah, that's that's my plan for the foreseeable future. We're just going to hang out in 116 and vibe out for a little bit, build some more farms, and get this area looking decent. And then once Optifine comes out with a version, we'll... Okay, apparently the iron farm gets iron golems stuck. Good to know. Need to hurry up and get that fixed. Uh, yeah, anyways, back to what I was saying. We're just gonna hang out at 116, vibe for a little bit, build some farms, get this area looking nice and ready and prepped for 117 Optifine to drop. But uh, I appreciate you guys for hanging out with me. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and then you can leave me some comments down below if you have anything you'd like to see, or any suggestions, or anything cool about 117 that I should keep a lookout for when I finally get there since I'm behind the times and being stubborn but until next Friday guys bye bye